Hi Pisces, it is Monday, March 11th, 2024 today. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Pisces, thank you guys for all of my happy birthdays that you sent me. Thank you guys so, so much. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Pisces, let's get into it. Let's get into your business. Let's get into your life and see what's happening and what you should be aware of. Okay, so the very first card you have is the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. Something's, something of a higher power is stepping into your life. It looks like you're going through a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges here. You're feeling tired. You have the Hierophant and you have judgment surrounding you in this energy of the Wounded Warrior. There's a higher power here um, that's stepping into your life right now. I feel like you need the help. I feel like you need the help. The Hierophant is a card of the divine. And then you have an angel here blowing their trump. And you're in the middle feeling like the wounded warrior. Like almost ready to give up. Like I don't know how to keep going. The next card you have is the Four of Pentacles. And then in the center of your reading you have the Five of Cups. The Three of Wands. The Four of Cups. The Eight of Wands. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Get ready for things to start moving really, really fast, Pisces. You have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. And you have you, the High Priestess. You're being, your path is being redirected at this time and things are going to be very different, okay? You're coming out of this energy where you've been through a very rough time in your life. Maybe um, for some of you nine months or four months, something's been really, really difficult. It's been back and forth and your whatever is meant for you is coming into this new chapter this new cycle with you but something here is being lifted from you from a higher power tell me why the hierophant is here and it, this energy is coming in fast This energy from the other side, your spirit guide, is coming in fast here, Pisces. Um, there's a commitment that you've been in with someone. That's why the Hierophant is there. That is telling me that you've been in some type of a marriage or some type of a commitment. And there's this painful ending here, which is a possibility and I'm saying possibility because you have the Two of Swords. You are unsure what direction to go in. Not making a decision. Feeling like your hands are tied behind your back. The Chariot is coming in. The fastest moving card in, in the Tarot deck. And this is Cancer Energy. So this is um, your help from the other side basically. There's something, some type of an energy from the other side here that wants to lift you up. Lift you up off the ground. You, you do not belong like this with your face looking down at the ground. You don't belong in this position um, at all. The wounded warrior, you're not supposed to be here. You've worked too hard to be in this position and you know it. 
Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. I feel like some someone's even telling me um, everything I've done, everything I've accomplished. Why does it always feel like um, I'm overwhelmed and I can never get to the place that I want to get to in my life? A place where I can relax and rest. It, it always feels like an uphill battle. And you've gotten to the point here where you have fallen onto the ground and you're ready to seclude yourself. But right now... Okay, so you got someone coming into your life. There's a commitment here with someone. This could be a marriage. But there's someone coming in. As slow as they are, they're coming in. This person might be an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a soul connection. Yeah, there's there's someone here that wants to that wants to be with you, Pisces. They want to walk into this this new place with you in your life. And this person, I see them holding this pentacle here, which is what's showing up right here. It's a brand new beginning with somebody. Someone here that you've almost given up on. Someone here where there's been arguments um, over a period of time. A seven may be significant. You have the Justice card, Libra energy. So the universe is, you have major arcanas here telling me that the universe is stepping in to show you something, to take the blindfold off of your eyes, all right? And to come up and raise up and have an awakening and a realization. It's very soon, Pisces. This, is, this energy is coming in very, very soon where you're going to see very clearly so that you can move forward because it's it feels like here like you've been feeling stuck like you keep working and working and working but it's not getting you anywhere see look something is being released from you look at this star this is a wish fulfillment this is aquarius energy why is this an awakening with judgment like, these people are coming out of coffins, waking up from the dead. The angel blowing their horn. Like, Pisces, you, we've given you your wish fulfillment. You manifested this. Now it's here. And it's time to take the blindfold off. And decide whether or not you want this person in your life. This is something, this person or whatever it is, is I'm seeing a person here for a lot of you. But this is, this is what you manifested. This is what you wanted. And it has been given to you. It's time for you to wake up and to see, this is, your, is this your wish fulfillment? Why is the star here? Yeah, see, you're, you're showing up here in Queen of Swords energy. Like, you're holding up your sword to your own wish fulfillment. Tell me why the Queen of Swords is here. You're questioning. You're questioning this commitment with someone here. And the plans that the two of you have made together that haven't gotten off the ground. Look at you. Do I need to cut this off? This person, they may be a different nationality than you, but this is this is a soul connection and um I feel like this is a past life connection also. This connection 
is very different than um, people that you've connected with in the past. Tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here. And so it may lead you to a lot of confusion. You have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy. This is you holding back. Holding back the energy, the real Pisces, the real energy that you feel comfortable in. You feel comfortable in this space of being the Queen of Cups. This is, this is you being out of your element here, holding up your sword as the Queen of Swords. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. I'm seeing you doing a lot of research. You know, look at this Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Coins. You're doing a lot of research here. And you're looking at a lot of different options and choices. And you're feeling sadness. You're feeling regret. You're feeling loneliness. Because for some reason, there's a situation between the two of you where it feels like you're always standing here waiting for your ship to come in. Tell me why the Three of Wands is here. The sun. This is what's going to be revealed to you, Pisces. This is Leo energy, but there's something here that you feel like you've been waiting forever for this ship to arrive, to this ship to come onto shore so that you can get on and you can feel happiness with the sun. Um, and that ship is coming in. What you've waited for, this happiness, this peace of mind, Everything's going to be revealed to you, and you're going to be able to see very, very clearly. And I feel like there's someone here. There they are right there, the King of Wands. This person makes you happy. This person makes you laugh. When this person's around you, you don't feel the confusion. You feel like everything's okay. You have the Wheel of Fortune here with this person showing up. So this person that you're, that's in your life right now um, is going through an energy change, all right, or a change of mind, a change of a huge significant change something here is ending in this person's energy tell me why they're doing this for you. you you may not believe me right now you may feel like clicking off the video um but someone here is is realizing that they are going to lose you pisces your energy is the Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. You've been in a self-sacrificing energy. Maybe a lot of your time you feel like has been wasted. You've been hanging around. You've been in an energy here of waiting for something. And I feel like there's something between the two of you where you have some type of a plan And finally, the turn of events are going to come in very, very fast. The, the plan. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. And you have the King of Pentacles. See, the king and the queen of pentacles. I feel like you want both. You want this person in your life. They're showing up as your true match. But at times you pull back and you feel, you feel like you want to be alone. There's something here about... 
um, some type of financial success in your energy, Pisces. Also, so you may pull back from whoever this person is to give yourself time to do what you need to do. Because I'm seeing here that you work on something. There's something here that you work and you're devoted to and your heart is in it. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. See, I just, I know this is your soulmate. You have the Four of Wands and you have the Six of Cups now. You have a soulmate in your energy and in your life right now. And I feel like you feel like it's always a fight. But the thing is, is we have Scorpio energy here with the death card. The thing is, Pisces, is this person was brought... It's like the two of you have a soul contract that the both of you agreed on where you would learn a lesson from them and they would learn a lesson from you. And there's a lot of resistance from you of trying to push this person out of your life and trying to end things. <clears throat> but then when it ends you resist the ending you don't it's like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't <coughs> can't live with them can't live without them why is death here Cool Aries energy. For some of you, you will let this go. You will let this person go. For others of you, I'm seeing like a rebirth, a coming back together again. But this is free will. This is your choice of what you're going to do with this soul connection here. Because I can see you wanting to get it out of your life. You feel like it's causing you confusion. You're wanting to cut it off. And then I can also see you wanting to give love to it. <coughs> but either way, you're going to take some type of a risk here with the fool of just letting go. Letting go of this energy of not feeling happy and releasing yourself from... Um, From letting your mind wander. This is this is like your your mind is wandering. You could be making up things that aren't real that don't really exist. Tell me why the eight of wands is here. The eight of cups. Yeah, you could just decide because I see a lot of word or a lot of messages going back and forth here that no I'm going to walk away I'm walking away why is the eight of cups here you're dealing with someone who's very inconsistent some of you and there's a if this is you I see there's a age difference here all right, this person shows up as a knight. You show up as the queen. Um, tell me why the ace of pentacles is here. The thing is, is you know there's a lot of potential here in this connection. Why is the ace of pentacles here? The three of swords. You know there's a lot of potential in this. With the Ace of Pentacles showing up, you know and you can see how great things would be. But 
that's what causes you the pain. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, because you're moving away. I see you moving away here in the future, moving into calmer water. Moving away from the devil. This might be a Capricorn. A situation where you felt like um, stuck. Why is the devil here? The Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. The Eight of Swords. There seems to be a three-party situation here, you guys. That shows up in your energy here in the future. So beware of that because it's it's like you, you decide to offer this person your trust, your heart, your love. And then there's, some, there's something toxic here that shows up with the devil. There's something about gossip and there there's this energy here with the eight of swords like I'm constantly thinking about this gossip like there's other people here that try to keep you apart there's other people that um, are involved in this here in the future so the third party doesn't have to be like this person's cheating on you or something the, this third energy could be anything that's trying to stand in between you and this person because of gossip tell me why temperance is here You have the Nine of Pentacles. Keep working on what you're working on. I'm seeing here that you find peace of mind when you do what you do. When you're building these pentacles, when you're making your money or something. Um, have patience with it and keep doing what you're doing. Because I see a lot of financial gain coming into your energy. And it gives you a lot of confidence here. You're very blessed, very protected. You're very spiritual here. Your energy is the High Priestess. Tell me why the High Priestess is here. That devil, it just keeps wanting to come out. Tell me who's doing this devil work. Why is the devil here? There's something toxic in this connection, Pisces. It's like you're you're sitting on the couch with this person. I feel like you're sitting in a chair right now. Like watching this reading reading someone. The same place you always sit. But there there's someone here that sits on the couch with you. And it feels so comfortable. It feels like everything in the world is okay. Everything's happy. But there's something toxic here. 
And, and it's like you're making a decision that I see some of you walking away and I, I see someone else here who is like obsessed with making this work and taking the steps and taking the action to make this work with the Knight of Cups energy. Does Pisces need to know? The advice here that I'm getting for you guys is I feel like I feel like something needs to end. Something about you or this person needs to end. You need to make a decision. The blindfold is going to be released from you. And you need to make a decision here, Pisces. And I'm feeling like it's to whether or not this person is or is not in your energy here in the future. There's a decision to end this constantly being up in your head and feeling blindfolded and to move forward here and to step into the sun where you can see. Because there was a lesson here that has been learned where you the king of cups is someone who stays in control of their emotions this just came out in reverse it's like you haven't been in control of your emotions there's a fight here you can't win and um it has to do with equal give and take tell me why the sun is here and it's there where you find the sun is when you take control of yourself and your own actions. You also have someone here that's watching you that um, this is a separate energy. I feel like I, I picked up for this for you guys. I think it was you guys. You may have a Leo in your life. This Leo may be a child. But there's someone here that's watching you. Okay. And this is someone where there's no communication at all. There's history with the two of you. And this person is standing on a horse. If you notice, this horse is not moving. And this person's daydreaming about you right now, Pisces. And they're watching you. But this horse right now, it's not moving. It's not taking forward action. The person on this horse is all suited up, afraid to step forward. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And have a happy, happy birthday. And um, we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.